A Chinese satellite launched, then mysteriously vanished from global tracking systems. For six days, it was completely invisible, until it reappeared in an orbit so unusual that experts around the world were left stunned. Shuyin 28B didn't just slip through the radar. It may have redefined what stealth looks like in space. In this video, we'll explore how it disappeared and what makes its orbit so strange. China launched what initially seemed like a routine experimental satellite, Shuyin 28B, aboard a Long March 4C rocket from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. But what happened next was anything but routine. For nearly a week, the satellite appeared to vanish. Space tracking networks, including those operated by the U.S. Space Force, typically detect and catalog new objects in orbit within a day or two. Shuyin 28B, however, was absent from every known tracking system for six days. It simply didn't show up. No trajectory, no signals, no orbital data, just silence. This gap immediately raised eyebrows among astronomers and space analysts. Satellites don't usually go dark unless something has gone wrong, or unless they're specifically designed to remain hidden for some time. Eventually, the U.S. Space Force's Space Domain Awareness Unit detected the satellite in orbit. But instead of aligning with pre-launch expectations, Shuyin 28B was found in a precise and unexpected orbit about 794 by 796 kilometers in altitude, with a mere 11 degree inclination to Earth's equator. That orbit caught everyone by surprise. Not because of its altitude, that's standard for low Earth orbit, but because of the narrow inclination. Most satellites operate at wider angles to maximize their geographic coverage. An 11 degree inclination means Shuyin 28B would only pass over a very narrow band near the equator. Even more unusual, China has never used such a low inclination for any of its satellites. This suggests that the deviation wasn't due to technical failure, it was intentional. Further analysis from astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell indicated that the satellite's final path could only have been achieved using advanced flight maneuvers. Specifically, the rocket would have had to execute a dogleg turn, a mid-flight directional shift during ascent, followed by three separate engine burns by the second stage to achieve the final orbit. This level of orbital fine-tuning is complex and costly, requiring precise planning and real-time control. What makes Shuyin 28B so puzzling isn't just that it disappeared, but where it eventually showed up. When finally detected, the satellite was in an orbit just 11 degrees inclined relative to Earth's equator, a dramatic departure from the 35-degree inclination most experts had projected based on its launch site and typical mission profile. This lower inclination essentially locks the satellite into a tight equatorial band, allowing it to repeatedly pass over the same narrow slice of the planet, including areas such as the South China Sea, parts of Southeast Asia, and the Indian Ocean. In satellite mission planning, such a low inclination is rare, most Earth observation or research missions use broader orbital inclinations to provide wider Earth coverage. The choice of an 11 degrees orbit instantly limits Shuyin 28 BS observable territory. So why go through so much effort, including complex engine burns and directional shifts, to lock the satellite into such a narrow view? There are several potential reasons. One likely explanation is the capability for frequent revisits. A satellite in this orbit can make repeated passes over the same regions every few hours, which is ideal for continuous monitoring of specific geographic zones. Another possibility is the testing of region-specific technologies. Communication payloads, for example, can be tested for signal propagation at low latitudes where atmospheric conditions differ from polar regions. The same logic applies to data relay experiments, thermal sensors, or technologies designed to operate best under certain geomagnetic environments, many of which are more stable at equatorial latitudes. The orbital path also gives clues about how precise the mission needed to be. To achieve an 11 degrees orbit from a mid-latitude launch site like Xichang, the mission had to employ a dog-leg trajectory, changing direction after liftoff to reduce inclination. This isn't an easy feat. It consumes extra fuel, increases mission risk, and requires sophisticated guidance. And yet, it was executed flawlessly, 
with three-second stage burns, according to Jonathan McDowell's tracking analysis. This strongly implies that the final orbit was not only deliberate, but central to the mission's objectives. It's not a mistake. It's a calculated decision pointing to a test of next-generation satellite capabilities. To understand why Shuryan 28B has drawn so much attention, we need to place it in the broader context of China's growing portfolio of space experiments, many of which are conducted with minimal public transparency. The Shuryan series itself translates to experiment, and these satellites often serve as platforms for testing new technologies in orbit. However, the public statements about these missions are typically vague, offering only general descriptions like space environment exploration or technology verification. This lack of detail isn't unique to Shuryan 28B. Over the past few years, China has launched multiple experimental spacecraft under similar labels. Some have conducted proximity maneuvers, others have performed orbital rendezvous, and a few have even been involved in satellite refueling tests. In June 2025, just weeks before the Shuryan 28B event, China successfully demonstrated on-orbit refueling with two other satellites, a feat that can significantly extend satellite lifespans and mission flexibility. What's becoming increasingly clear is that these aren't just academic demonstrations. They're laying the groundwork for a more resilient and adaptable orbital presence. Shuryan 28B, with its unexpected blackout and ultra-specific orbit, fits this emerging pattern of experimentation that blends innovation with ambiguity. By going dark for six days and re-emerging in a custom-designed orbit, Shuryan 28B effectively tested what analysts believe to be orbit concealment techniques, orbital insertion precision, and possibly even ways to delay satellite detection post-launch. For space agencies and commercial operators that rely on orbital transparency and predictability, this raises serious questions. How do you prepare for satellites that hide? How do you respond to orbiters that behave unpredictably by design? Even more, the satellite's ability to execute such a specific path through a three-burn maneuver and directional shift mid-flight demonstrates a high level of control and sophistication. This suggests that China is not only testing space hardware, but also refining its launch vehicle's flexibility and responsiveness. Ultimately, Shuryan 28B represents more than a mystery satellite. It's a signal of what's to come. An age where satellites are no longer passive tools, but dynamic, adaptable platforms capable of increasingly autonomous behavior. What started as a silent launch turned into one of the most intriguing satellite events of the year. Shuryan 28B's disappearance, reappearance, and unusual orbit aren't just anomalies. They're indicators of a shift in how space missions are being designed and executed. With precise maneuvers, minimal transparency, and a tightly focused orbital path, this satellite challenges the norms of global space activity. Whether it's about surveillance, technology testing, or orbital concealment, one thing is clear, the rules of space are evolving. And as China pushes those boundaries, the rest of the world is paying very close attention. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.